Nobody likes you, you girl. Well, you're a different color than me, and that's bad. Oh, yeah? Well, you dress like a... Now, hold on a second. Whoa! Whoa. Mr. T. T. Never make fun of the way a man dresses. The way a man dresses is his business. Remember that. Whether it's overalls, chains, or feather earrings, however they dress, it's not to be joked about. I pity the fool that judges another man's clothing. I don't need... versus the family circus better than Dilbert. For instance, oh. Yo, what's up, man? How you? Ben. Oh, you know cuz. Keeping it straight. Cool. Well, I guess I'll check you later. All right, dog. What you should see is rain people with James Conn and Shirley Knight. Yeah, that's a... uh, what's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Um, how Denise? Oh yeah, Denise. She good. She good. She good. She good. Anyway, I guess I'll catch you on the flip. Yeah, dog. Yeah, ain't no thing. Come on, stick it. I'm in there, dog. I'm in there, dog. I'm in there, dog. No, I'm in there, dog. I'm in there. Tuck it. I'm in there. Tuck it. Tuck it. I'm tucking it in, dog. I'm in there, dog. I'm in there, dog. I'm in there, dog. No, you're all right. <laughs> That's basically how I roll. Welcome to Metal World News. In fashion, if you woke up and there was a four-inch miniature human standing on your chest, would you swat them off? I was really challenged by this question. I would hope that I'd engage them in conversation. But in reality, I think I'd be scared of them and swat them away, which would probably kill them. Well, that wraps up Metal World News for this Wednesday, October noise canceling Octagon Tire. I'm Metal World Peace. Good night. Did I fulfill my contract, Satan? Cedric. What's up, dude? Tis well, Cedric, tis well. Yeah, can I ask you a question, man? Oh. Um, why the hell are you dressed like this? And what the hell did you do to your bike? You ain't heard? I'm steampunk now. Yeah, I don't know what that is, man. Jules Verne and I seriously think that you have cracked, man. All right? Like, like in your mind. Nah. I ain't cracked up. I live in a clock now. This... <sighs> Umbrellas and blimps. You're wearing a top hat with a door on it. I'm just an ill-ass lemony snicket up in this bitch. But you, what's with you? What's with me? I'll tell you what I'm, I'm an ill-ass normal mother who been waiting for his friend for an hour and 10 minutes underneath a goddamn bridge with two homeless Perchance, good sir, could you point me in the direction of the nearest apothecary? If you're talking about the drugstore, it's right there on the corner. What time does it close? It closes at 10 o'clock, man. You've been there a million times. Mm. I'll check just to be sure. Make sure it's still open. I'm telling you, Levi, if you put that piece of pipe up to your eye and use it as a telescope, I cannot be your friend anymore. 
this. Yep. Still open. All right, I have to go then. So. You try it. No, no. I'm not gonna try it because it's a piece of pipe and it doesn't have any lenses in it. Therefore, it's not a telescope. Yes, but how could you be sure? Science. I'm gonna look through this piece of pipe, and if it doesn't work like a telescope, then we finally done, man. Like, not homies anymore. We're done. Oh, Cedric, why would you think in a million years that that would actually work? Cedric, it's just that. You look so ridiculous right now. I look. Oh. Oh. Mm. <sighs> Say goodbye, Ratatouille. What? What the f is that? Oh! I feel like crap. It just came from a trashy Indian restaurant in a strip mall. Not bad food, though. Got pretty lucky. Got the hottest, baddest curry ever ate in my life. This place called Nonsense, Indian joint. Just like Nigeria, Terminal 3. Enough. It's like, I'm going to my brother's wedding on Sunday. And it's like, I don't even want to go. I don't even like my brother. My brother's like a jerk. I don't like his wife. She's like a bitch. I stayed with him for like three weeks. She's a bitch to me, man. I put my feet on her coffee table. She was like, don't get your feet on my coffee. I'm like, who are you? I hate gingers, man. A ginger broad, man. Like, those are the worst people on the planet. So I said that to him. I said that to him in the parking lot. I cornered him a little bit, sure, but he swung on me, man. He swung on me. Can you believe that? It's like, who swings on their own brother, man? Yeah, I swung back, you know? Like, I had but that's cool, you know? It's like I haven't seen him for a while, but now got this expensive wedding I have to go to. So it's crazy. I got to get my uh, tickets, and that's the whole situation. I hate doing that. And hold on a second. Hey, hey, pow, pow. Start on the downstairs bits. I'm in the middle of a conversation up here. Hey. Of course, of course. Whatever, whatever you say. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry about that. My little guy here uh, working on my suit. From the eternal, from within. There is a guy in there. The answer is yes. And hopefully, I, you know, I can get like two down in one evening. You know. And speaking of two down in one evening, if they've got popcorn, shrimp, and little lobster rolls. Stop. Who goes there? Sal? My name, my name is Sal. Sal. Huh? The end is near. What? What, 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 what do you mean? Everything is changing. What do you mean? The end is near, Sal. No, I don't, I, I don't know what you mean. What do you mean with I don't want to die? There's nothing you can do. The end is near. Everything is changing from the eternal, from within. No, I don't want to die! What do you mean? The end is near. Sorry about that, man. Of course. Nobody likes you, you girl. Well, you're a different color than me, and that's bad. Oh, yeah? Well, you dress like a... Now, hold on a second. Whoa! Whoa. Mr. T. T! Never make fun of the way a man dresses. The way a man dresses is his business. Remember that. Whether it's overalls, chains, or feather earrings, however they dress, it's not to be joked about. I pity the fool that judges another man's clothing. I'm sorry I judge your clothing. It's okay. Hey, Scout, there's a man over there who said he'll give us candy if we get in his van. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea, Timmy. <sighs> what are you afraid of? Is it because you have a stupid name like Scout? Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Mr. T, T again. again! Never make fun of a person's name. Your mama gave you that name, or you made it up for business purposes. Either way, it's personal. 
I pity the fool to make fun of another man's name. Mr. T's a cool name. It's a cool name, Mr. T. Hey, Scout, want to do some drugs? Aren't drugs bad? I don't know. If you're afraid of drugs, we could drink a bunch of alcohol. Yum, that sounds good. Well, guess what? Your hair is stupid. Never make fun oh. of another person's hair. Hey, hey Mr. Mr. T. A person's hair is the artwork that they present to the heavens. It's just like I've been saying. It's not even a haircut. It's a rare form of male pattern baldness. You fools! Ah. Ah. Real. Ooh, 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 ooh